everybody, this is Max, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today. We're going to talk about some bags that I'm loving. I'm going to share a couple bags that I have. This isn't going to be my fall haul, because um, I'm going to come back and do that when I have kind of put it all together and curated, because I'm going to probably do a video. It's going to be a lengthy one, too. Probably going to do one where I share, like, coats and shoes and all that other stuff. Kind of like my capsule wardrobe thing. But anywho, I'm going to talk to you guys about like handbags that I'm kind of interested in or that are semi on my wish list. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of the handbags that I've kind of recently acquired since the last video. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay, guys, long time no see. I know it has been a minute since I have been here. And y'all already know the song and dance, so I'm not even about to walk you through it. However, I have kind of been revamping my wardrobe. I do it, you guys know that I, every season I do a switch out and um, I kind of put together like different versions of caps, my version of what I would call a capsule wardrobe. So I've acquired some new pieces that I'm really, really excited about and I want to come in and I want to share them with you. So this isn't like everything that I'm getting for fall or that, because I haven't really finished it yet. Um, I've kind of been working on it for the last couple of weeks and I probably won't complete the flip until probably like mid-October, end October. So I will be back to share that with you and it'll have coats and shoes and all that. But however, I have some cool pieces today that I do want to share. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my on-the-go tote, my Louis Vuitton on-the-go tote. And this is from the Jungle Collection. You guys, this bag, first off, just let me tell you. It doesn't matter what print you get, just get the bag. If you need a functional, gorgeous, not too heavy tote, this is it. If you are plus size and you kind of struggle with the straps on the Neverfall, you won't have that problem. If you like the Dior book tote, but you're just not about that, I'm only gonna carry a top handle life, this will take care of that. So this pretty much checked all the boxes for me as far as the weight, the style of the bag, the function of the bag, what the bag could carry, just everything. And, and this print here just kind of blew me away. I love Leopard. I always have it in my wardrobe. I don't care if it's on trend or not. It's something that is always in my wardrobe. So I'm not like worried about what happens when animal print goes out because you guys should know by now that animal print's pretty much always in. And what happens is when something is on trend, like animal print, it just means that it's easily accessible, which means that you will find it in a lot of places, um, a lot of different stores will carry it. Whereas when it's not really the focal point, like when it's not really on trend, it'll kind of be spread thin throughout different retail markets and things like that. But anyway, back to this tote. Um, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to see this particular print up front. I'm not going to focus too much on the print, you guys, because I know that I don't think this one's available anymore. But I just want to talk to you about the bag itself, like the function of the bag. These two tall straps are pretty much everything to me. I have a huge arm, and this is not a problem at all. So when I'm going to have to put on my coats, a black wool coat or anything for fall and winter, I won't have a problem with that. Not to mention it gives me a different way of wearing it as well as it allows me to be able to shift the weight if these top handles become too heavy because I've loaded it down, okay? This fits all my work files. Um, while I'm going back and forth to the doctor and I'm carrying, you know, um, a sweater or anything else I need, this it gives me plenty enough room. This is actually Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And if I don't know if you've got a chance to see this light color in here. And mine is kind of grimy on the inside because I've been carrying it nonstop. But I love the light color of it. I love this like cream color in it. And then this butterscotch is just to die for. So I don't know if you can still get your hands on it. But if you can, this is worth taking a look at. If not, the reverse monogram is beautiful. And I know that there is supposed to be an imprint black leather one coming for fall winter. And I am totally 
stock in that one like never before because you know everybody needs a black tote so you heard it here first everybody needs a black tote the finishings on this with the gold hardware is absolutely beautiful I liked how they finished the edges on the bag there is no glazing and I'm like perfect it's neatly stitched it's folded over so I don't have to worry about that glazing issue um, the bottom of the bag is lined up perfectly and I, I just love it I don't use a bag organizer in mine. Um, I kind of just kind of like that toss in kind of look and, you know, grab it and go. It's, it's beautiful though, you guys. I get so many compliments on this bag. Um, I'm like at the doctor's office and people are stopping me. If I go to the mall, out to eat, wherever I go, this, this, this is a show stop. I actually picked up the little flats to go with it, the little, well, they look like Birkenstocks, but what do they call the Bomb Dia Mules um, or slides? So they're in that pony here of the animal print, and it has the thick, like, rubber sole here that says LV Made in Italy, um, and I've wore these to death, you guys. I'll insert a picture, because I posted a picture on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it, and these kind of pick up all kind of straight hairs around here, which you can now see. But I love these. I absolutely love these. I think these are fabulous. And they're super comfortable. Um, you could see the gold hardware on them. And it says, you know, Louis Vuitton is really great about the brand markings all over the hardware and things like that. So, but it's not tacky, you guys. So there isn't like monogram everywhere. Although it does have the, is it called the Florida Lee flower on it? Which I think is subtle because it's in this like coffee color, caramel coffee color brown. But I like these. I've worn these with jeans, t-shirts, I've worn with shorts, I've worn with dresses. Um, I wore them, what was it, yesterday, I wore them with black uh, wide-legged dress pants and like a black fitted top, like, you know, fitted tee. And I just had these on with the big Louis Vuitton. <gasps> I should have brought them in here. I'll show them to you in another video. I have the Louis Vuitton like hoop earrings and that was really, really cute with it. It was just a comfortable look and I just wore a black bag. I didn't wear the leopard bag, but I do put the two together. And because you guys know that I like to kind of keep my silhouette um, kind of streamlined. I keep, like, I don't put a ton of different mix match prints on or anything like that. But I always kind of like to match the handbag um, to my shoes. And that's something that I've, I've always done. So that is one set that I have acquired. Um, I've also got my eye on... What is it? By Delvo. And I think it's called the Le Pen bag. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this bag, you guys, it is the cutest bucket bag. I don't know if you guys remember last year, what was that? Uh, Fendi. Everybody was going crazy over the monogram little bucket bag, including me. I loved it, but I didn't buy it. It was really hard to get my hands on. And by the time it kind of calmed down a bit when it was readily available, I was over it. But this one, to me, looks like it's larger, and it also comes in, like, really, um, like, a nice quality leather. And I think for that bag, I'd rather have leather than canvas. And there's some beautiful colors. Um, if you check the Delvo website, there are some beautiful colors. I'll also list my essay's name and number down there. So if somebody's interested, because there is um, a Delvo now that, that is here in the States in New York. Um, on Fifth Avenue. Is it Fifth Avenue or 57th? I can't remember. But anyway, there's one here. So I will list her name and number below. And it's a, they have some gorgeous, gorgeous bags in. And I know I'm going to add a Delvo. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it for fall or if I'm going to do it for winter, but I know I'm going to add a new Delvo. And I've got my mind on like so many that I can't even make up my mind. But I'm loving, loving their pieces. Um, there's also the Le Pen bag that is slightly longer that resembles the Evelyn. And it's made with that nice grain leather. And they have a beautiful, like, pure white one that I think is gorgeous. And I've been, like, really stocking that one. I think I'd love, love that. I think that would look really cool against all black or, you know, just pure white bags are really on trend right now. And the only one that I have is, like, an off-white little white bag and then I have the Gabrielle but it's white and black so I want like a pure white big crossbody bag and I think that one may be coming home with me I'm pretty sure um that I want the white one yeah I've been stalking that one so that one I also have my eye on um what else is there 
Um, there is, I've been looking for a gym bag. So Louis Vuitton has, in the men's department, the men's handbags, there is a Speedy, a black Umprot Speedy in a size 40. And it has this double strap. So it's the bandoliers. And the strap is nylon, just like the strap that you would get on the Evelyn. And then also the top handles are also nylon too. So that thing looks amazingly sturdy. And I just want it to be a big black slouchy bag that I can toss in the back of my truck. Um, and I can just throw on me crossbody. I can load all my stuff in there for the doctor. And then like when I'm doing going to the gym for rehab training and all that stuff, I could, you know, put all my pieces and everything in there and that I could still be fashionable with it. Like it still will represent my personality. And I think this bag, I believe, I haven't seen it in person. I've only seen it in line, but from the looks of it, it looks like it could take a beating. I'm pretty sure the nylon is all weather and I pretty sure that that umprint would be something that would last me through, you know, rain, snow, sleet, all of that. So, and I think the fact that it would be black leather umprint, that it would be kind of understated. So I've got my eye on that. I think I'm going to ask for that as a gift for Christmas. Um, I really, really, really want that one. Right? But anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's another bag that I have my, I guess this is, what we going to call this, my wish list or something, because you guys know I never do those videos. I really plan my wardrobe. Like, I look for things that are missing um, that I need, and I kind of fill those holes. And then I look at things that I'm not using, that don't really fit my lifestyle, that don't really fit my personal style anymore or my needs. And I kind of remove those, and then I introduce new pieces. So I really kind of like plan ahead on how I'm going to do it. So when I'm putting together like my quote unquote wish list, they're kind of like shopping lists for me. I don't know if you guys remember if you've watched me before and I told you guys how I put a list in my closet. So when I'm getting dressed, if I notice that there's something that I'm missing, like to complete a look or to, you know, something that like, you know, I'm trying on an outfit and it doesn't look right because I'm missing a brown belt, I'll put that on my shopping list. And so that's kind of what this is. This is kind of like my shopping list. Um, so those are some of the bags that I'm missing. For me, I really put a huge focus on big bags. Um, I had a lot of mini bags and I love my small bags, but I've started to kind of move away a little bit from them where I don't need such a huge collection of them. And I've kind of like exited some out and replaced some. And I have a new one here that I replaced. And if I'm gonna go for a mini bag, I want it to be functional and practical for my lifestyle right now. And what might have worked for me last year and the year before might not work for me now, and that's okay. So I found a new bag, and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Here, let me put the top on it. I bought a new bag, and it's from Goyard. But this is actually a pre-loved bag that I got from Fashion File. And it is actually in brand new condition. This is the Fashion File sticker that they stuck on there. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, and well, you don't need to see all that. Here is the dust bag. It's a Goyard. Goyard comes in the yellow dust bag. And you know Fashion File sends you their dust bag but I pretty much took it out of there and looked at it already and then here is the fashion file information the thank you card and the receipt and everything is in here and they have quite a few of these I noticed on fashion file so and I think most of the ones I saw on there are new this is called the mini Saigon bag um, by Goyard and I absolutely love this little bag. This bag is to die for. I love this little bag. And this is my, let me take this paper off, tissue paper. But it has the Goyer tag because it was in brand new condition. And then it also has the Goyer, I mean the fashion file tag on here. So this is what the bag looks like. It comes in, this is the black leather. And then of course this is the canvas, the hand-painted canvas by Goyard and then it has this like wooden handle here at the top 
Now this is definitely a mini bag, but it is a functional mini bag. This mini bag is light. Um, let me open it for you. It also has a strap. Now this strap, if you are a petite person or a normal size person, it may go cross body on you. It doesn't go cross body on me because I have a long torso and I am a big girl. So cross body, no, no. But shoulder, definitely. But it would be something that I would probably be looking to carry like this. And let me show you the inside of it. It also has the paperwork for the bag um, inside of it. And it is a yellow leather, and it says Goyard Paris made in France in here. And this bag is beautiful. I like that it's lined in leather. Again, it's not heavy because it's a small bag. It's just really simple elegance. I think it's really cute. I think it could be super chic. Um, like right now, when I'm going out at night, if I, if I go out with my husband or something like that, um, where I live downtown is like tons of restaurants and the nightlife is really, really popping. And so we're kind of walking around and this bag here where I live is not a really known bag. Like you don't, you won't see this anywhere. So if I'm carrying this as opposed to carrying like a Louis Vuitton bag or Chanel bag or something, that kind of gets noticed a little bit more. So even though this has, um, the logo on it, people aren't going to really know it where I live. Now, where you live may be different, but where I live, they won't know what this is. And it's small. It's just a little cute top handle. And I've kind of really been in love with the little tiny miniature top handles. And you guys know I love this shape. Um, I have the Coco Handle, which I love by Chanel, that is in this shape that I just, I love. And it's so cute. And I will do a comparison between the two. And I'll come back and I'll show you guys, you know, um, what fits in here and everything. But I can tell you my phone fits wallet, all that stuff. I tried all those things and they all perfectly fit. And this is like when I'm doing those all black outfits, like I said, when I want to go out or whatever, this is cute, you know, and I have, um, a brown leather, what do you call it? Blazer that I plan on wearing with this, um, bag too, but this will just be my like little going out downtown bag. Or, you know, if I just want to grab something cute and tiny to wear, this is totally, totally it. Now they have this in I want to say the PM size and the PM size is bigger and it has the strips of wood going down in front and it's a much more structured bag. This is soft, soft and squishy. So it makes to me the bag lighter. And I just, I think it's really cute. It came in a lot of colors. I think the special colors usually in Goyard are more expensive if you're going to buy it from Goyard. I know it was on sale um, on Fashion File. I believe if you get them from Goyard, it would be $3,700. And I believe they have some of these listed on Fashion File. Brand new, like $3,300, $3,400. Um, last time I checked. I'll check again, though, and I'll see if I can link some below for you guys. Um, but definitely pop into Goyard and have a look at this bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm ordering a pair of boots, um, black boots, ankle boots, to go with this. So when I get those, I'll show you guys, you know, when I put together my fall capsule. But I wanted to come in and I really wanted to show you guys this because, like I said, while there's some available, this is so hot. And I think it's going to catch on. Give it a few months. I know in the Asian markets, it's hot right now. Um, and we're kind of slow to jump on the trend. Or I don't even call it a trend. But we're kind of slow to kind of notice this one. I saw some people... Um, by the the tote version in the mini, but that wasn't me. I wanted a top handle and a and a longer strap. So I think that one's adorable too. But I really, really, really like this. This is a very feminine bag, and I like to mix the feminine pieces with some of my kind of masculine pieces. And like I said, this is to me is just this is classy. This is chic. This is to me understated in my demographics of where I live. Like you know. Um, cause this isn't a bag, this isn't a print that you see a lot. This isn't a brand that you see a lot or at all. So I totally think that this is worth it. Um, what else do I have my eye on? I know the Chanel collection just came out and I have my eye on a few things in that, but I don't know. I have to see if I can get my hands on what I is I really want. Um, I have... I think two pair of boots coming and I've already bought my coats. I bought two new coats and there was a cape that I really, really loved 
by um, Louis Vuitton because I went to the women's um, like ready to wear event and I tried it on and I didn't like the way that it looked on me because I'm bigger than what I would like to be right now. So it wasn't my favorite on my body, but sometimes I tend to like over critique myself when I'm not feeling my best. So I'm kind of on the fence if I should maybe go back to get it because I really, really like it. And I think it's important to have a quality coat and capes are just, it's never going to go out of style and it didn't have monogram all over it. It just was a really nice chic cape and I could see myself wearing that for years to come. So We'll see as the swelling goes down and things changes, you know, if I can still get it, I may go back and get it. I have to see. Other than that, what else do I have coming? I have, I have a few jewelry pieces I think I'm looking at. Um, other than that, that's it guys. That's pretty much everything. Um, I'm really not kind of adding really makeup. Um, I think I did pretty good um, with kind of calling my makeup and kind of working around what color story I'm going to kind of use. Um, have you guys seen the new multi pochette by Louis Vuitton with the, the cool strap, the canvas straps? I think there's a green and there's like a pink, like a pale pink. I'm looking at that. I think that's cool. I think that would be a really cool functional piece to kind of like, you know, in athletic wear and things like that, edgy pieces. So I like that, but I don't know. Now you guys tell me what you think about it. I don't know if it's something I would definitely buy. And I don't know if it's just because I keep seeing it, you know, because I always have to like when I keep seeing something, I kind of have to pull myself back to make sure. Max, do you really want this or is it just something because you keep seeing it over and over again? Because I too have that problem just like everybody else. Um, what else? When we get to the clothes part, I know that I had some subscribers that are plus size that like to ask me about different brands. And what I like to tell people is if I just throw out a brand without really knowing your personal style, I don't think it's really going to help you. But I do have, um, if you're into luxury plus size, there is um, a website that I've kind of been buying pieces on that even at this size, I don't mind investing in the pieces because I'm okay with getting them tailored down, you know, when I go down. So that's um, going to come up in a video. And I think that's it. So... I th yep, that's it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.